Welcome, welcome everyone to another episode of Time for BL. This is the podcast where we review movies, TV shows, novels, and comics, all in the boys love genre. All right, it is time for Vice Versa episode six. Let us see where we are. I cannot wait to see um, if they start like taking each other dating wise more seriously, especially since now they've moved in together. Is the flirting going to how, how what's happening next? How are they going to move forward from here forward? And if this is a theory of love universe, why are there movies from the other universe in this universe? Or was there a universe bonding? (laughs) I'm just coming up with foolishness now. All right. They're moving in together. Okay. Let us see where we go from here. But why move in to Tun's place. Why not move into Tess's place? Because Tess has a nicer apartment. Or is this to get him away from Tess's father? Because Tess's father is very controlling. Let us find out. Is pop rice actually a thing? Like, rice cakes are a thing. Rice krispies are a thing. Is popped rice a real thing? What? Well, Mm. where mm. (laughs) where can i try this (laughs) where can i try this okay the way (laughs) jimmy swallowed (laughs) well um so um when is feeding to la but the way jimmy swallowed um uh i'm gone (laughs) And somebody has to clean that up. He just threw all the rice around the room. Like, that... That's just a mess and a waste of food. And also, this toothpaste exists in this universe. I'm just looking for all the things that exist in both universes. And all the ways they could have explained this product placement. And just say um, that people from the other universe, when it came over, they just wanted to recreate their favorite products. And that's why we see a lot of the same things. It was all a dream. (laughs) Magazine. I'm sorry. I don't know the words. (laughs) Biggie, biggie, biggie. (laughs) Don't do that. Don't do that. Well, then it also would make more sense. Like, yeah, why would he move? Oh, they're still talking. Let me wait before I say anything. I hate them for the fake out. (laughs) Okay. So, um, of course, Tilly is like, you need to find your port key so you need to you know hang out with other people and of course jimmy is like i want to hang out with you and i feel like we're gonna get this for like maybe two three more episodes but at some point at some point this will they won't they is getting into sosa's territory no it's getting into one love territory because one love was even worse. It's getting into one love the series territory. That's what it is. Okay, episode six is called Fire Yellow. So, let, what's happening in Fire Yellow? Oh my god, do you think babies have traveled between universes? It just like hit me. If a, because if a baby or a small child, they're not going to know about finding an association or anything like oh my god i'm sorry i'm sorry for putting that thought in anyone's head i apologize i just had to pause i just had to pause the nintendo switch made it into the other universe (laughs) mario exists in the other universe are we actually in the other universe are we the ones in the wrong universe Kirby is in the other universe. Zelda and Link are in the other universe. I can't. (laughs) Wait, but what if in the other universe, instead of being an Italian plumber, 
Mario and Luigi are French construction workers. <laughs> so instead of it's a me, Mario, it's we, oui, Mario, and whatever this is, I can't do a French accent. <laughs> Me, Mario, whatever this is, let's just get on with it. <laughs> whatever, I don't care. Nobody cares. <laughs> but the Switch made it. How did they find out about the Switch? How long has the Switch been out? It's been a couple years now. So somebody came over and was like, you know what? I'm going to create this thing because I'm missing it. It's called the Nintendo Switch. Because that's what I would do if I travel to another universe. I'll just start creating things that already exist in this universe in that universe. <laughs> Tess really must be the main character for his friends to be willing to sleep on the floor like that. But also I love that, you know, Tele talked about the fact that he um, hates, um, doesn't like love stories, all that stuff. And then now he's watching the movie he made, which is a love story and is, of course, missing ton. And that is actually so romantic i guess I'm, I'm just wondering how much of what they were doing before is like foreshadowing to what we're going to see between the two of them in their relationship and how it builds and so he carries the guitar i guess to sing to him let's see okay thank you i was about to say he went all that way just to play my song and then leave oh and he counted the minutes sir this this is called love <laughs> you just don't know what it is they're hugging oh you're touching his bare skin <laughs> listen jimmy is um muscular M mus muscular <laughs> okay <laughs> I was going to pause at the hall, the, not the hallway, the stairwell scene with them talking because I was like, wow, that's a beautifully framed shot. I really like um, how they have them talking in the stairwell, the window behind them, all that stuff. And it's beautifully lit. Everything. Love that scene. <laughs> but I decided to let the story play out for a little bit so I could see, you know, what's going on in the story. Mom calls them for some snacks. Um, Tess's mom calls him for snacks. Tess's dad is also there. Um, why is it on the center of the table? Of the table are those damn choco pie with the label facing the camera. They were like, "Y'all are gonna know who's one of the sponsor is." Those damn choco pie. I need to get one. I need to see if it really is that good. I'm in tears. I think for me, this entire series, <laughs> it's the sponsors that are gonna get me <laughs> every time because shows need sponsors. They need to make that money. But the way, the way sponsors are done, especially today in like across the board in every um, country it's very like overt because those sponsors want their money's worth they want their money's worth even the ones you're if you're thinking no i mean not everything is like that heart stopper they mentioned nando's nando's of course is a uk thing um, it's very big i doubt any show can go by without going nando's but they could have just said, we should go to the chicken shop. They didn't. They made sure to say, we should go to Nando's. Or, yeah, we can go get some Nando's. They're making sure the name has been said. That um, Colin Kaepernick uh, TV show. <laughs> Taco Bell. Y'all know Kaepernick did not eat that much Taco Bell as a teenager. No, Taco Bell said we're going to be in every episode. <laughs> Mention our crunch rap. <laughs> but that's what it's like watching TV now. Every all these sponsors just going in there like and you got to make sure you say our name. <laughs> and then this dang Choco Pie. How many houses you go into 
and on a centerpiece on the dining table or the um, breakfast table, whatever, you know, however they have it, they have <laughs> choco pie. <laughs> it's always a bowl of fruit. Come on. Come on. <laughs> moon pie. The choco pie looks like a moon pie, but it's probably not a moon pie. I have a feeling it's like the sticky rice in the center instead of it being like the marshmallow fluff i think moon pies have i think that's what it is i don't know i don't actually know don't take my word for it i've never had a choco pie rephrase i don't think i've had a choco pie but now that i'm thinking about it it is a possibility i've had something similar to it i don't know i have to ask my parents i don't want to ask my parents Eh, uh, whatever. <laughs> oh, that actor who plays Up, he's also in The Eclipse. I am currently watching The Eclipse as well. I have not posted any episodes on The Eclipses yet. Thinking about it. Love it, though. Loving it so far. Of course, <laughs> we're back to the sponsors. We have to show how great Choco Pie is by having uh, everyone fighting to eat it, like fighting to get to it, and even eating the wrapper, because that's how good it is. Jeez. I love how they couldn't get a bear sponsor because notice every bear has a um, can holder thing on it. Every single one. And why bear out of a can? Bear out of a can is so disgusting. But anyway, you want real bear? Bottle. Bottle. They taste the best. Glass bottle. All you get the draft people, be quiet. Glass bottle. And I'm missing up talking nonsense so i need to um back up a bit so i catch everything um but yeah they never got a bear sponsor because they can't show any bear cans they should get tara the korean bear i was gonna say this whole scene is sweet but then Pwen hit out that you know i like the sound of tell it Oi! Oh my god, what a flirty line. <laughs> what the hell is Talit doing? He's saying to whisper in my ear. You're shh. Here is. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Let me see if I can do it. Hi, guys. Welcome to my show. This is the ASMR section. <laughs> Does anyone watch Star Trek The Next Generation? Or Deep Space Nine? Are you familiar with the Ferengi and um, yeah, I'm just going to leave that there. <laughs> That's this scene with uh, Talia and Puen. That's what that reminded me of. Okay, no, that choco, no, they said choco pie brownie. Are there different choco pies? Huh. Yes, I'm now just watching the ads. And Toyota is the car brand and Yamaha is the um, bike brand. And then the OK um, noodles, which we see on so many as well. I need to try a chocolate pie. I need to see where I can get some. Okay. Do you think van life exists in this universe? Because <laughs> I was just thinking about it. Like bear is more expensive. Wine is cheap. Is living in a van more expensive than buying a house? I mean, buying a van is getting expensive too. It's coming to this, the price of a house um, now. Hmm. I have questions. How cheap? Is gas cheap? Is gas cheap? Because <laughs> if it is, I would like to go to that universe, please. And again, Pwen just flirting and walking away. Just flirting and then just walking away. How do you do that, sir? <laughs> Forget a man who gets you flowers. Get you a man who gets you a tree. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where I know the dad from. Pause this. Which show have I seen the dad in the dad looks familiar as hell and it's going to kill me hold up is that uncle t 
No, it's not. It's not him. Where have I seen that guy before? That is Taui from Not Me. I'm like, it was killing me. It was killing me. I had to go look this dude up. I was going crazy. It's the dude from Not Me. Man. Man. Woo. I thought I was about to lose my mind. Now I can continue watching the show. And that was slick. So they're taking the photo and I love how <laughs> I always want to say Jimmy. Pwen turns to the side and is like, in the end, they fall in love. Oh my gosh. I love his voice. I love his acting. He is a great leading man in my book. Um, they're both leading men. Um, but Jimmy is just a little better at it. He is straight up main character energy. May you only get main characters from now on, Jimmy. You May you never play a support role. May you forever be the leading man. Okay. <laughs> um. So they have been hired. I, I don't think I've been like going through properly of, okay, and this is what's happening next in this scene. Um, so this is what's happening next in this scene. They received a call from Dull and they want to create a guide video for Universal Travelers so they understand what's going on because it's becoming very tiring to continually explain this to people over and over again. Um, so uh, they are playfully fighting <laughs> over the camera and where the camera should be. And um, I can't remember her name, but Dull and the um, chick... Um, say that um, they look like a ship like oh now we know what the other travelers are talking about when they talk about shipping um, they fight like boyfriends and like all that stuff and I just love that whole thing it's so cute because they're looking at them like they look good together right yeah they look good together <laughs> oh but um, yeah now they're getting ready to um they want to interview some people so people talk about their own experience with the shifting and stuff um and what i find interesting is they're saying i'll pay you with fried chicken nabi send the money i can buy my own um but also (laughs) also is that just like a spot for a kfc ad (laughs) again we're sponsors well We've already seen KFC as a sponsor, but yes, sponsors. And they can bite that fried chicken together again. (laughs) The looks they're getting as they're doing the interview, they're just staring at each other. The camera is still filming, guys. (laughs) They're just staring at each other. Oh, they're so cute. They are adorable. I guess they're talking about the fact that KFC has an app and you can order through the app and get it delivered. I guess that's what they're doing. They're they're referring to. That's that's all I can figure. Jubjang. That's her name, Jubjang. What did I say? A KFC box. It's a KFC box. I I knew it was coming. They're advertising the zinger. I remember the zinger. I have not been to KFC and so that's a lie. That's a lie. There's actually one in my neighborhood and i was there a month ago so yeah in so long in so long (laughs) but there's a zinger box where you can get the zinger sandwich um some really pathetic looking drumsticks those don't look good those are that's not what no (laughs) or maybe we're just i'm I'm used to the 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 (laughs) The chickens that are hopped up on them, them pills. But that is a small leg. That was a newborn chicken. That is a newborn chicken leg. (laughs) And some fries. (laughs) No drink. It's dry. (laughs) Drink your saliva. (laughs) Sitting in his lap. Okay, what the hell happened? All of a sudden, everyone is sitting around... She died? She died? They just killed her. Did did her other self? Oh gosh. So if the 
if your other version dies you die too oh my god you die if your other version die Tess better not get killed again oh so if Jube was actually Dole's um port key does that mean Dole is actually stuck in this universe for the rest of his life oh my gosh oh and he wants to spend the night with with Quinn, well, with Tun, because uh, is he actually going to talk about it? Let's find out. Ooh. They're going to talk about something. I swear, I'm not even joking. This whole conversation about death better not be foreshadowing nothing. I swear, if this has a sad ending, I am booking a flight to Thailand. I'm going to the GMM TV studios. And I'm going to need to have a talk with somebody. Because how dare you. This better not foreshadow anything. Also, they look adorable right now. Oh, they're, they're spooning. That That is that is spooning. That That is spooning. That, that's what spooning looks like. Correction. Their bodies are not close enough to be considered spooning. That is just a hug. That is... There was space between them for God. Okay, so it looks like this this episode, next episode, is setting up for them to have the talk about the possibility that they are each other's port key. Roast beef established 2008. I don't know if you can hear that, but the baby just woke up. Okay, so... <laughs> So I'm so excited and I just can't hide it. I'm about to lose control and I think I like it. So I I loved it. I love this episode. I love where the show is going. I'm going to make fun of the sponsors throughout the entire thing. I don't like I have to keep bringing it up. There, there's other ways. R.I.P. Jube. I wish we got to see what your other version actually looks like. And um, in the feels, doll. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. I wish you had the chance to tell her how you truly feel, dude. Sorry about that. But glad to see everyone rallying around him. Um... Yeah, love the episode. Love where the show is going still. Um, I, I'm i excited to see what other GMM TV actors they're going to pull in for cameos here and there. Um, especially since I'm still like, is this Theory of Love? I, I don't know why, but that's what I've thought of all week. Is this Theory of Love universe? Is this Theory of Love universe? <laughs> that's all I've been thinking about. Um, can't wait for more loving Jimmy and C, especially Jimmy. I'm now a huge, 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 huge fan of him. And yeah, that is this week's vice versa recap episode. (laughs) I hope you have a wonderful morning. Good evening. Good afternoon and good night, whatever it is, wherever you are.